Hello, awesome human being. This is Wizard Fu bringing you another update on the game Wraithbinder, which is going to be so sick that you're, you're, you're just going to, you should right now pick your jaw up off the floor and wipe off all that drool because it's about time to check out some cool stuff. Um, really, it's not that cool, the stuff I've been making, but it's coming along actually. Check it out. Now we have a 3D d arena. This is pretty neat. So you can see that there's a definite slope going on to these tiles. This is sloping down this way. I'm going to go to God mode so it's a little faster. Sloping down to this last little bit. It's like we're inside a little bowl. What the, I don't know what was happening there. Whoa, it's like a, it goes into some weird... Look at that! Found another bug. Isn't that great? You're witnessing it. Somehow he's getting all wonky on that. I think his Z coordinates might be going, going messed up there. But anyways, you can see there's a, 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 like a bowl type depression right here. And it goes upwards here to the corners of the arena. Um, what I'm planning is actually to have stairs. Right now, this sort of feels a little bit too haphazard to me with all this this sort of gradually sloping terrain. It would make sense if it were stone or dirt or something like that. Uh, but since it's these tiles, these tiles sort of all sloping at this angle doesn't really make as much sense. So I'm thinking that these right here will be stairs. That'll be some really nice steep stairs and maybe sort of actually some more like gradual stairs. And then this will be flat right here. And then this little wing bra branching off will be flat. Maybe this will become stairs again when you go up to the player home places. So that'll be stairs again. And this will be... Uh, once again, a flat piece, and maybe this would be stairs too, going to this item place. Uh, yeah, and I'm just experimenting around with the whole sky now, becoming or seeing some more of the, getting some more depth by not having everything covered with uh, tiles. So um, this is, you can I, like since I'm in GOG mode, I can walk on the sky, but these sky coordinates are actually. Um, sky entities so I can actually if I get you know close to them I can't actually walk on the sky see the players like trying to walk on the sky but it can't um, that's because that's that's a collision box um, surrounding it but anyways um, it's nice to have some more depth but I know this is visually not quite what I have in mind for the battlegrounds um, there's something missing I'm not I'm still kind of experimenting around with the R and trying to figure out why what overall is missing here? I'm not sure I want it to be this dark and, and sort of like space-like. I was thinking you were actually going to take place, the battle would take place on a planet. I'm not sh quite sure whether this will be dungeons or whether it will be sort of like an overworld, like a like Songbringer's Overworld or Songbringer's Underworld, you know, like well, which one will it be? Uh, so, but this is pretty satisfying to have things this far and check it out, these, these suits of armor will like look at you as you walk by. That's kind of fun. Um, it's really slow because they, uh, they're refreshing their models a lot and I'm, I gotta optimize that. But so there's a lot of optimization I can do. You can see like, oh, it's already horrible frame rate while I'm trying to record this whole screen video. But anyways, um, oh, there's one more thing I want to show you and that is that I've been working on the poster. So I got the co poster to be a lot more colorful now and you can see, uh, um, you can see the evolution. Let's check out the evolution of this as a as I went through. Here's where it started. Something about like that. Um, and then this is where it went after that. And then this. And then this. And then this. You can see that this one it had a little bit too much foreground, or well, his his abs. And his chest and all that are really bright, but he's supposed to be backlit. That was always bugging me. Like something was about this was bugging me. I'm like, what's bugging me? And finally, I was like, oh, his chest and everything shouldn't be all bright because it's super backlit in this um, in this image. So that to me looks a lot more realistic and nice. And you can see that there's a lot there's some color going on in the background a little bit too. And then I tried this where I was like, whoa, that kind of looks cool, but it's super trying on the eyes like to have it so bright like that so I try I, I kind of toned that down a bit and got to about like this what's neat about this is it combines the two color hue schemes that everyone liked on Twitter so I, was, I like put out a bunch of uh, images on Twitter saying which one do you like the best most people liked either the pink or the purple one 
And so um, this allows me to have some pink glow and everything like that, but then still have a purplish background. It sort of turns into blue, but um, yeah, I like this the way it is. And it, maybe I'll go through a few more iterations of this key art image, but this is always neat having a key art image that I'm, I'm excited about and proud about, but more or less, more just excited about. This is kind of exciting seeing a super sweet, like, you know, like, whoa, this just wants, this makes you want to go battle right now. Um, and then you, of course, compared to the original, right, there's the, there's that. I mean, it's, it's okay, but there's, there's a lot lacking, right? And then you get to, to this much more evolved image. It's pretty nice. So, uh, that's it for this video. Thanks for watching, as always. We'll catch you the next time.